hello my gorgeous friends uh, welcome again to the second part of the video i believe you enjoyed the introduction and it was it was clear i believe because i had to explain everything that we are going to achieve in this video okay right now what we are going to be doing first is to create our, our project okay because we can start a project without actually creating one right so that's what we are going to be doing in this video right now so i i like uh running i like uh creating my project via the terminal so what i do first is to go to the uh, the folder i want to actually create create the uh the project so i normally go to uh, it's kind of uh okay tutorial project so i normally go here so i think we can just uh cd into that part so you can actually uh move it to whichever location you want to create the project on so in this case now i'll be calling this one i will say flutter create and i will call it uh wallpaper app okay like so and we're just going to give it some time make sure you have internet connection already and then you wait for your project to, com to complete loading like to be created all right so we are good now and you can see all done so what we can do next is to cd into our wallpaper app that means cd means change directory so we're going to move into that so if you list this now you see that we have our lib folder and every other thing so what i'm going to do now is to uh open this project with my vs code because i'm using vs code for this so the easy way i just do it is just to type code and dots okay so it's going to launch uh vs code so i can close this i can exit this terminal now okay so i think it's not useful for now so our project has been opened on vs code so we can actually zoom this out and also increase it a little bit so as you can see our project it has been created and uh, the first thing i normally do whenever i create a new flutter project is to uh, create a github repository where i will just push it there okay so that way i just it just makes things easier for me so what i'm going to do now is to uh, we're going to go to our web browser and create a new github repository okay so i think i believe you are already signed in to github with your uh, device so what you can do is just to type repo.new and once you type that it's going to take you to a new repository page so this is the page so what we can do now is to call this one wallpaper okay wallpaper application okay you guys can actually find this find this repository online don't forget to start it uh, it's very good <laughs> okay so we can create a repository now you can see it's been created in my account and you can see the path github.com dot this all right so the first thing i do is just to i go to ssh and i'll copy this the whole of this okay so you can just be typing this thing one after the other so what i do is just to okay from here to here to just copy it and go to your project so we're going to open our project now okay so you go to you can open up your terminal so click on this part to create a new terminal and it comes up so what we we'll do first is to initialize the repository uh, is to is initialize the the project to use git so you just run git init and once you do that you can actually add everything and then you can see first commit so i'll just paste that stuff here okay and you can see it has the first thing that was added is uh okay go upload git commit so i just added first commit as the message okay and then we did something else which was okay git branch okay and then git remote add we added the url and then git push so this git push needs my permission so i'll just hit enter and we're going to see all the code now will be pushed to github so for every video we complete we are actually going to push that change off for every changes we make more like uh major changes we make in our app we are going to push the changes to github all right so you're going to see how safe it is so you don't really have to uh, worry in case you lost your data so if we go to github now and then refresh this page you will see that our code has been added to github already you can see it yeah our code has been added so i don't know why c plus plus is much here but because we have not added much of that code so you can see our um, wallpaper application has been added all right so uh so we are going to yeah so 
once it has been added i think there's no much thing we need to do here so in the next section what i'm going to be doing is to actually structure the folder okay so i'm going to show us how, I sh how i'm going to structure this folder for this application and also we are going to add the various dependencies that are needed to run this application okay